Hello, I'm Jane Commons, and I'm the intern at the Arlington Department of Public Works. Today, I'm here with Shannon Linlau, who is the Waste and Diversion Compliance Officer. We're here at Spy Pond to talk about Shannon and her job, as well as some mistakes that you might be making with your trash and recycling. So to get started, Shannon, what are some of your most um, important jobs as the Waste and Diversion Compliance Officer? So a uh, main aspect of my job is being literally on the curb in the mornings before the recycling truck comes through, checking people's curbside bins to, making sh to make sure that they're recycling properly. Cool. And then if they aren't, I would give them a sticker and then that results in their recycling just not being picked up that week. Okay. And what are some of the most common items that you have to put a sticker on that like ensures that the recycling doesn't get taken? Um, soft plastics like plastic bags mm -hmm. or bubble wrap and plastic films. Um, cartons like the kind that you would get if you got um, oat milk or broth. Those types of cartons and black plastic. Okay. So like black plastic takeout containers got to go in the trash. Oh, okay. But just to clarify, it's not like a plastic milk carton. It's just like the papery cartons. Right. Plastic milk, like jugs are good. They're good. Paper cartons, bad. Okay. I was curious about other rules and regulations similar to the ones regarding milk cartons. So I asked if there will be any changes to the system in the coming months. And here's what she had to say. Yes, definitely. Um, this November actually, and this is coming from the state level, mm -hmm. um, we will no longer be able to put textiles, so like old clothes, sheets, curtains, whatever, or um, mattresses in the trash. And what made you interested in pursuing this job as the Waste and Diversion Compliance Officer? Sure, well, I um, it was advertised as there being a fair amount of walking. Yeah. I love to be outside and I love to walk. Um, I didn't mind the early morning hours mm -hmm. at all and I've always been passionate about uh, sustainability and like especially reducing plastic pollution. Although Shannon's job is purely beneficial to our community, she still experiences conflicts most notably when people call in if their trash or recycling got missed that day. Shannon also mentioned that she experiences some internal conflicts, like when she has to sticker someone for recycling incorrectly. I feel really guilty when I have to recycle people, when I have to sticker people's recycling. I feel bad about it, so I'd like people to know that we're not trying to get people in trouble. It's mm -hmm. more like, um, like recycling education right on yeah. the curb. Yeah. Is how I think about it to make myself feel a little better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as important as recycling is to our community, there are also so many other components involved in sustainability. Shannon talks about the other two R's, reduce and reuse, that work in association with recycling and how they work into her work philosophy. My other philosophy towards my work is that recycling can only get us so far mm -hmm. right yes. and I wish that people would also think about um, the first two R's reduce and reuse yes. and what are the metrics for measuring success as the waste and diversion compliance officer it would be really cool to see less contamination in people's recycling bins mm -hmm. after time goes on after I'm doing this for a while maybe and increased participation at some of our weekend and weekday recycling events. Thank you for joining Shannon and I here at Spy Pond. I know I have learned a lot about what to recycle and what not to recycle and I hope you have too. Stay tuned for more videos from the DPW similar to this one. Next up, you can hear about changes in textile disposal. Thank you for watching. I'm Jane Commons.